We had a malfunction with the camera, and so the morning stuff, thankfully most of everything that I switched to this camera um, was mo early in the day, but the other camera I tried using in the beginning, for some reason, it, all the footage I took that morning disappeared. So we're redoing an intro for Friday. Mm -hmm. So it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so there was a lot going on. We were heading down for the welcome is all we were doing. Yeah. So it was yeah. day one, heading we're down excited. for the welcome. We're excited. I was excited to see Rob and um, see if he remembered me. Um, I wonder if he will. <laughs> I, spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, yeah, so a lot of things going on today for Friday. So enjoy um i'm gonna keep this short and sweet because we gotta get going for something else on saturday so um yeah that's it for now what are you excited for today for friday what were you excited for my kim's photo op yes mm -hmm. that was great yes. i was excited for rob so all right that is it bye <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
So you are facing a lot of charges, my friend. And given how many times you shove so many drugs up the hoop chute, you can carry a lot of contraband up there, and that gives you more attention to sell. <laughs> People ask me, why don't you do Fridays anymore? <laughs> Good news is you're not doing Friday. You could Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's go. Let's go to TGIF tonight, guys. Thank God it's Friday. You know what I'm saying, right? Thank me it's Friday. Thank Rob it's Friday. That's right. Thank Rob, it's Robbie. There's another t-shirt you ain't gonna get a piece of. Really, I just watched the Kings of Con write-in session. <laughs> Pretty much did. Yep, that's it. That's how it works. Including, uh, including the dance break. Yeah, I'll take a part and do it. Welcome to the Kings of Con writer's room. <laughs> Back on the stage. How many people are excited to get a little frobby action? I went through all the middle-aged man tests recently. Um, all of them. Um, my doctor, Dr. Vera, called me bro after one of them. And I said, Dr. Vera, you cannot call me bro after your fingers have been inside of me. <laughs> that goes against bro code. Um, yeah, so I went through the whole rigmarole, and then um, we, he looked at my hairline, we, we, he went over every experience of my body. And so, uh, and he was like, well, your hair's really holding on there. And I was like, oh, when did my hair really go? And so, and I was like, I wear a hat every day. I wear a hat for 25 years, every day. And, uh, and so I was like, well, I'm gonna start showing my hair while I still have it. And then this, and this I re I've never owned a brush or a comb as an adult. And, uh, and I got in the mirror today, and things went sideways on me, and I did not know how to fix it. So I've got, I've, I'm a bit of a scarecrow here today, and that's, I think that's what it's going to be. Or I may go back to wearing a hat by this afternoon. Um, it wasn't for a compliment. I'm just telling you the struggle I've been through, to, I've been through before I got to this venue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I feel like I, I, I look like I've been... I'm, I'm very surprised. Like... <laughs> Lose teeth? <laughs> <Okay. Hey. laughs> Hi. This is what I do with my teeth. There's Jessica it. relaxing. She and yelling at her phone. <laughs> I'm yelling at my game show network show. This is, this is what I do in my fun time. Alright, Jessica, here's the question. Yes. What did you think of DJ's panel? I love him. I love how he's all over the place. And I'm, actually, he was talking, and I'm like, you must have ADHD. <laughs> like, you must have it. <laughs> but he's, he's, he, I love him. He's hilarious. I do love him. I will agree that I wish I got, a, I was getting a photo with him. But I'm like, I'm okay with that. Alright, okay, so here's the other question. Okay. What was your favorite part of the first two things this morning? The whatever things made me laugh. So um, the the bum hole with Rob. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to say that. My favorite part was Rob's bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that whole thing she talked about with Rob's bum hole on camera. So you will probably understand the gist of it. I don't know if I filmed everything. Um, so yeah. So my favorite part was probably that whole the whole beginning of the welcome when Rich was pretending that Rob was a hologram and he goes up and punches him and it was just really funny and Rob was not expecting it because he actually went over doubled over but yeah so that was my favorite part but I also like those two um but we only did the welcome and DJs we're waiting for we did a little bit of Rachel and now we're just kind of chilling and waiting for our photo op with Kim excited she's really excited because Kim's her absolutely favorite hi are you recording cool. are you excited for Kim 
We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see Kim. We're gonna hug Kim. We're gonna. Are sit. you nervous? No. I am. A little bit. I am. Way less. I'm, than, way less than you. <laughs> I got like butterflies, and like I said, it's just, it's Kim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> I'll be nervous when I get up there. Um, yeah. So the photo ops are literally right over there. <laughs> and um, we can't, don't film. No, I'm not. Get I realized. Um, but. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, but you can hear the music, so they play music really loud um, in there so you can't talk mm -hmm. as much because it's like an in and out thing, but because I can hear it, it's butterflies, yeah, but we're waiting for Kim to, for Kim's photo, and it's fun, <laughs> but I'm nervous as hell. I should be, it's Kim, mm -hmm. she's like, you walk into her presence and she's like very welcoming, and hopefully you guys can hear me because I'm trying not to yell, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> she means fuck yeah. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> The, uh, here's a question for y'all. How many of y'all have never been to one of these shindigs before? It's a lot. It's a significant amount of people. Uh, how many of you that have never been to one before just started watching the show within the last two years? Thank you three people for coming. <laughs> Five years? So the vast majority of people who came for the first time have been watching the show for a decade or more. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing. Where have you been? You know what I mean? Somebody, what's that? Oh, oh, you've you've been there. You've just been broke. Fair. That's fair. Welcome. You're not gonna be less broke now. But, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, a couple. Eh from the folks that have been to 75. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. It's my 114th, but... Hey everybody, how you doing? Yeah. I heard it's a good crowd. Yeah. That's what they say at backstage, so... Your reviews have preceded you. It is a wonderful, kind, genteel, hallmark, clean... Yeah. No double entendres at all. We're gonna keep it super clean today, guys. All right? Super. Keep your keep questions clean. Yeah. <laughs> Only talk about love and kindness. No dirty jokes. <laughs> that was the best. What? <laughs> Say what? I didn't sign oh, up for that. Man. <laughs> well. We are only as good up here as your questions are. And so, <laughs> right? Yeah, so I'm telling you guys, all right? Yeah, totally. We blame you. This is a crap panel, it's your fault. So that's what we're trying to say. Has anyone here insurance. never been to one of our panels? All right, so we're gonna apologize in advance. You know what, this is a fun game, post-COVID uh, shutdown, no touchy, no touchy. Um, who here found the show as a result of the last three years? Hands up. Okay, that's interesting. And how, how many people, this is their first convention ever? Okay, nice. Nice, that's almost like 50% again. Well, welcome. Uh, Gail and I are the uh, moose bouche for the main course. Uh, it's coming this weekend, you know who they are. A little J2M action, we know. We know where, yeah. our, uh, we know where our bread is buttered. <laughs> we know where a lot of things are buttered, oh, right? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we share last night. 
us. Mm. Um, I, I did have a nice buttery bun last night. You had some buttery buns? I had a buttery bun. I don't I'm know a little lactose intolerant. I gotta be careful with the buttery buns. What? You're a little lactose intolerant. Are you really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> yeah. You gotta be careful with the butter. We actually had a salad backstage earlier, and and they brought they brought it to the green room, and, and there was a, uh, a little plastic thing. I thought it was like feta cheese or, or blue cheese, and so I just dumped it all over my salad and butter. <laughs> so uh, I apologize in advance. <laughs> but they were picking most of it out. So, I so basically, so <laughs> oh no. So we are setting the bar really low here, folks. Yeah. Because <laughs> so if we go up. See, if you see Gil run off stage quickly, you'll know what happened. A lot of roughage and a lot of butter. <laughs> roughage and butter. That'd be That's what we call this panel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the greatest band in the world, Roughage and Butter! Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. those boys leave the stage when we get on here. It's like half a, yes, let's go back to the green room and chill out. Half, I'm terrified of these women. Yes, they should be, they God damn it. Okay, so uh, who has not met us before? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right, so DJ, I didn't tell you this because I haven't, I haven't seen you. DJ came back and he was like, I forget how polite this audience is. Um, I may have gone a little overboard. And I said, uh, did he flop up for us? No, he apparently pulled his testicles out. <laughs> did he do that? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm never sure. I don't pick up on social cues. Um, I, also, I suspected he didn't, but good news. Today I learned what a brain hang is. So, um, brain hang. So it's this thing, apparently, that boys do. Uh, you got that, baby? God, that was hard. It was, it was hard. Um, so... She said that. <laughs> that's, right. that's who I thought you were. Um, but uh, but so, so they, they pull down their zipper and they just pull out their testicles at a social event. Yeah. <laughs> like the geography down there. <laughs> I know, she took me a second too. DJ just like passed right it's over that. the scrotum. Okay, so, uh, so the testicles are out at a social, and apparently multiple uh, uh, individuals owning testicles do this. And so the testicles are out, but anybody who looks gets punched twice. <laughs> In the testicles? <laughs> no, 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 a looker gets punched. So if you look at the person you take two shots in the arm. So it's like slug bug, but with your jaws. What is it called again? Brain hang. Brain why? I assume that's where they keep their brains. Brain. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think the female version of that game would be? <laughs> Just the <laughs> labia majora. <laughs> gentlemen in the audience. <laughs> the labia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, it. I I, I, but, but, like, I don't enjoy hitting people as much as some boys seem to. I used to think it was pretty fun to hit people on the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun game. Yeah, this is fun. Um, but we don't do that anymore because different time. <laughs> it's, I would not do it to strangers. I would do it to my friends after we had a couple wobbly pops. <laughs> and we'd laugh and laugh and laugh and then afterwards we'd be like, I don't know if they actually thought that was funny and so 
I, I, I thought it was smart to just stop it all together. But me and yeah. us pussy slaps, we had some good times together. <laughs> so, for those of you who just met us, you're welcome. Now you know who we are. <laughs> How were the panels? Good. Did you enjoy them? Yes, I did. What was your favorite part? I like Kim and Brianna. Of course. Yes. I got the whole beginning part of their whole... <laughs> I love it. What it, was it called? It was called... Oh, crap. I forgot the name. I have the video, so you guys know probably what we're talking about. Balls? But... Brain. Brain hang. Brain hang. There we go. <laughs> what a brain hang is. That was lovely. Um. So, yeah. So, today... The panels are done. I have to go back down for autographs, which I probably won't film any of it because Jessica's staying up here and you can't really film. So, um, cause the actors are in the open, you can't film them in the open unless they're on stage. So, but that is what's it. So after that is karaoke, otherwise today's done. Hi, I'm, I'm dead. No. <laughs> She's a zombie now. I am a zombie right. now. Um, so I did autographs. I didn't, like I said, I didn't film anything. But Rob, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> but I had to bring it up at the table. Um, so I had a photo that I took back when Lon Swain was in Chicago. Had him sign it. He thought it was cool. And I told him where it was from. And then I started talking about the videos he did. So for those of you guys who don't know, he does stage it. He did stage it. Um, concerts when COVID was going around and then like you uh put down so much money or whatever he would do like a personalized video that would get sent to you and he started I had him do that and then he, my username which is listed below if you guys want to follow me on Twitter or X it's not even Twitter anymore I don't know uh, but if you want to follow me below that's below but it's WTA girl is how I look at it but he thought it was water girl and so I did like all the videos all the time and so it was a big deal throughout those little videos that he sent me and so I told him that who I was and he started laughing he thought it was hilarious of uh, the whole ordeal and he's like it's really nice to put a name to a face and so it was fun he um, got a chuckle out of it I thanked him for the videos and then Oh, and then I explained to him what it really meant to me, which I'm not going to go into details here. Um, but it's, um, there's a reason for the name. Um, not just, it's not supposed to be what a girl. And I never even thought of that, but it makes me laugh. And he now remembers all that. So it was really kind of fun. So that's my favorite autograph story. Um, the other ones were pretty much, I did Richard and Gil. And it was pretty much, hi, how are you? And they signed my thing, but I didn't know what to say, so I never said anything. So, um, but that's the autographs. I wish I could show you the autographs and, like, put videos in, but it's against the rules. I don't know if I clarified that, but I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. So that is what happened with the autographs.
Jessica, how was karaoke? Yeah, it was fun. I always enjoy it. Yeah. I, tonight I was like, oh, I'm tired. I want to go, but it's fun. Yes. It's always fun. Um, I was singing like a weirdo the whole time. Um, and <laughs> should we tell him our David story? <laughs> so David uh, walked around with a bag. We found and handed out, out like 10, 15 minutes later that it was him. Um, but he walked around with a bag that had flamingos in it for a drawing. And <laughs> we're in the back because we didn't want to be crowded. And um, he walked, we thought he was some strange guy that walked up to us. And we're, we kind of looked at him weird. And he's like, do you want one? And he opened the bag. And I was like. And he's like, it's for a raffle. No, okay. no. Um, he said it was flamingos. And then I was like, sure, why not? I'll take a flamingo out of a stranger's <laughs> bag. And then he goes, it's for um, a drawing. And we're like, oh, cool. And then he walked away. Well, Jessica and I didn't realize that um, it was David. Yeah, it was. David Hayden Jones? Yeah. Is that how you say it? David Hayden Jones. Yeah, we didn't realize it was him. And then after, the, until after, like, a few minutes after he walked away, I was like, I think that was David. We see him on the stage up there, and we're like, is that David? And he was wearing the same giant hat, and we're like... I think, the, I think so? that's David. And so, long story short, we didn't win the raffle, but we get a free. He gets this. He can sign our flamingo for free. Um. So that's the plus. Mm -hmm. But, I, and I don't think any everyone got it because they walked. He walked no. by a couple people past us. No. So we we were lucky ones in the back mm -hmm. that was like, <laughs> we got one. <laughs> um. So overall, sorry, I cut Jessica no, out. <laughs> So overall, I look like crap because I'm tired and it's been a long day, um, but it's been a good day. Karaoke was fun, mm -hmm. and tomorrow's a whole nother, tomorrow's Jared and Jensen photo days. Like, not panels, but photos tomorrow. So you, you guys won't see them in videos unless we catch them walking through the hallway somewhere. But other than that, tomorrow we get photos with Jared and Jensen. We have... I have Rob's meet and greet tomorrow, which I can't film any of that, unfortunately. We have, I have autographs, we have panels, we have a lot, and we have Lon Swain's vendor jam, I think, tomorrow. We gotta figure that one out, because Jared's photos are on the same time. So, we're gonna talk to somebody about that. But otherwise, yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna end it here. You wanna say goodnight? Goodnight, sleep tight. Don't let the baddie bugs bite. The baddie bugs bite. <laughs> Um, so that's it. I will. This is the end of Friday, and I will see you guys later. With wait, I forgot all the good <gasps> details. Oh, no. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But I will see you guys later with the next video for Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I'm cutting my face off, guys. Thanks. But good night. <laughs>